Okay, we are actually on the correct trail now. And there's a couple of them, orange and yellow and red. Red is the one that goes to the summit. And we are on the orange trail. Soon to be making a right to head to the red trail. So there's orange, yellow, and red. We're going to do the Mill Hill High Point here in Montgomery County. This is uh, in Palm, just outside of East Greenville. And uh, so far, you booked your uh, trail. It's a uh, road basically. So, you're not much in the hiking over rock and brush. And so far, you got yourself a nice trail. Uh, the long term we took at the beginning at Lumberjacks, but that was a dead end into nothing but brush and woods and no trail whatsoever. Here we go. Well, we're still looking for the trail. We thought I saw it back there, the red trail, but uh, it wasn't marked with any uh, red blazes or anything. Uh, according to the map, if we see a yellow trail to the left, then that means we're going too far. And I really think we're probably going too far already, to be quite honest with you. But, eh. We're out for a little hike, so get some exercise, enjoy nature, enjoy this road we're walking on, and the creek forward. Well, we've come to a clearing with some power lines, and uh, we're still, as far as I can tell, on the orange trail. Never along here did I see it turn to the right, like it says on the map. No red blazes or nothing there. Up there is a big, huge hill. My assumption is that's probably where we're supposed to be, but they have no trail that leads that way. According to the map, there is, but I haven't seen one. I haven't seen any blazes. So we'll continue up the orange trail until we see something or exhaust the orange trail and come back. And maybe we'll just take a trail off to the side. We had, there was one back there, but it didn't have any blazes, so I didn't want to take it just in case it wasn't the trail. Now, is it possible this is, ah, look, there's red. All right, so I'm assuming the orange goes to the left here. Oh, that says blue. Well, okay, I don't remember a blue trail on this map. But it might be there, and I just, yeah. Come on. Uh, Here's a red trail right here. Good. All right, here we go. Red trail. Now on the map, it made it look like it was a very short distance to the red trail. So you can get confused. If you're watching this video and you want to come out of here, walk all the way until you get to that clearing where the power lines are, and then make your coach go into the woods a little bit. And boom, here you go. Here we go. This is the trail to the highest point in Montgomery County. It's about 700 feet or something like that. Well, so far, a little bushy. Might be a better idea to come here in the uh, fall or spring or winter if it's not snowing. But uh, it's nice, I like it. I like, instead of walking on a road, this is good. Now right behind you, you see this huge rock. I just noticed it as I was talking to you. A little carving on the tree. That's neat. And there's another big rock right behind that. Big, huge boulder. We're actually, the trail cut goes up towards there, it looks like. So we might be able to get a view over there. But uh, 700 feet plus above sea level, not 700 feet above like where we park. So the footage coming up isn't going to be close to that open thing. Yep, 
Here we are. Congratulations, you have reached the highest point in Montgomery County at 715 feet above sea level. This is Upper Hanover Township Parks and Recreation. We got a guy over here celebrating in his own way. Behind you to the right is, I assume, the marker for the highest point in Montgomery County. And the view is not a view. Now the trail seems to go back this way a little bit. Maybe we'll go back and adventure there. Uh, there's a little bit of a tree tangle to go through. Maybe there's a view back there. So, yeah, we're here. A little bit of a trip up through. I would suggest, like I said before, spring or fall. But, hey, something to do. Well, there's your view. We're not at the highest point where, where it came through the trail a little bit. We're down a little bit lower. The power lines here afford a, a pretty good view. And uh, let's see if I can get my bearings correct. I would say that the view you're looking at is only outside of Valley. That's my guess. I'm a little, my bearings are a little bit off. I think out there it's 329 where we came in on. That's my guess. And back behind us. Okay, we came from the high point. That was uh, pretty cool. Well, we're on the orange trail, and um, we're going to take this out to the spot where I think it goes to a yellow trail that makes a loop. If you take the orange trail all the way to the end, I'm not sure if it loops right at the end of the property. It doesn't really show that. It's right on the boundary. It could be laying underneath the boundary of the map, but uh, we're going to take the little loop around and come back to the parking lot. And uh, this looks like just a little field trail, a uh, little easier walking than up on the hill. Well, if anybody out there knows what they are, let us know. I'll look them up. Yeah, okay. Let's put it in the video then. Yeah, they are interesting. I'll just walk right by Looks like a glazed donut mushroom. Well, wow, that's pretty cool. Tell you what, overall, this is a really nice hike through here. Very nice. If you want to get your heart rate up, do the orange trail. If you want to hit the point, the high point, do the uh, red trail or just do them all. It's really neat. Barely hear anything but the birds and my voice yakking away. All right, uh, off the orange trail is a little tiny trail. It looks like it goes down to a water feature. Uh, it's uh, the white trail if I didn't mention it. And uh, yeah, we're gonna go down and check it out. Well, this the bird's going crazy. Oh, look at that cliff side. Jeez, oh man. Beautiful. And you just hear the water off. Well, I wonder what creek this is. I wonder if it should be on the map. I don't think so. Nah, it doesn't. This is the Hossensack Creek, H-O-S-E-N, 
S A C K. Austin stack. And this ends up dumping into the Perkyoman Creek. Of course, the Perkyoman travels all the way down the Valley Forge and King of Prussia to the Schuylkill River. Wow. Who would have thought? Man, beautiful. Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh, this is cool. Oh, we did not expect this, but it looks like there's a little cabin back here. I don't see any post signs or anything. I don't plan to go in, but uh, pretty neat. Wondering if it's like a huh, was a private residence, and now it's just part of this park, or what? Looks like it stands on stilts. Ah. The roof is probably in need of some repair, maybe, but it's not that hard. Wow. Boy, that yeah. small. That would be neat. Unexpected. And then the trail isn't marked, doesn't say what car or anything. I almost wonder if it isn't that yellow trail that we were thinking about maybe taking off on. But it isn't marked, so it's tough for me to say I want to take a trail that's not marked. But as soon as I saw the cabin, I was like, well, at least gotta go out and look at this cabin, that's pretty cool. Oh, yeah, look at that. You found my grill. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we could do some stuff there. Nice. Very neat. Got a well here too, it looks like. All right, that was Mill Hill Preserve. We did the uh, highest point in Montgomery County, 715 feet above sea level, and then we traveled along the Orange Trail and the White Trail down to the creek. We just saw a cabin, which we didn't expect. Uh, overall, I mean, these are nice trails to walk on. I'd rather be walking through the woods like we were a little bit earlier. Um, but yeah, it was a nice walk. It was. It was an enjoyable time and a lot better than walking in town. So. Uh, Check it out out here. This is in, a, I guess you would call it northeastern Montgomery County, uh, really close to the Berks County line, uh, just outside of uh, Palm, or actually, yeah, just outside of Palm, East Greenville, that area. So, yeah, we had a great time. Thanks a lot for coming along, and we'll see you next time on Lumberjack in the Woods.